so you guys can sub to her but anyway um it's a gig log you guys i haven't done this in a while i forgot the how the hell i even do this anymore because i don't do gig logs too often y'all know why i've told you guys a thousand times it's hard man i don't like doing this shit a lot anymore but for you guys today i got you because y'all been asking for it so i'm gonna do it i'm also driving relatively fast so i'm not gonna be paying attention uh to the camera too often because that's just very unsafe uh don't do this at home but anyways we have a corporate event to do today. That's why we're all snazzy and jazzy, you know what I'm saying? Got the face a little beat, you know what I'm saying? Eyebrows don't fleek, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you know? But, um, oh, is this a police up here? Let me slow it on down. They all swerving. They is swerving. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so we are on our way to Somerset Mall in Michigan. If y'all know, if y'all know, y'all know, y'all know Somerset is like the upper echelon of, of mall shopping. Like, you don't go to Somerset Mall, bro, unless you got five racks or better. This is my first time going to Somerset. Damn, really? They got a rich side and they have a poor side. So, we're going to be on the rich side. <laughs> um, we're, <laughs> we're going to MAC Cosmetics, man. Just a little small event. Um, I believe they're rolling out a new campaign. And, you know, they just hired your girl to do some cool stuff. But like I said, it's a corporate event. I've never done a corporate gig log before. So I said I was going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, but y'all know how we get down, man. Y'all know what it's going to be. I had to bring, you know, just one top. I don't have Big Booty Judy in the back today. I didn't need to bring all that extra stuff because it's a very uh, small, small venue. And, you know, we're just going to attract people, try to get people to spend some money so that way they can come to me and spend more money. Shout out to MAC Cosmetics, though, because this is probably like the sixth or seventh event I've done for them they've always been cool and uh I love them so with that being said y'all know what it is man pay attention we're gonna uh probably pan straight to the mall after this so see y'all there Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's my favorite part. Like, 
tips on how to go ahead and take care of some of these corporate events i forgot that i did not shoot an outro for this video so i'm going ahead and i'm doing it right now man y'all already know how we get into it but um obviously this was a really short gig log it wasn't too much to see um really really tiny setup only needed one speaker and things of that nature but i just wanted to have this conversation because um i do get questions about you know how to set up how to get how to set up for corporate events how do you put yourself in a position to get those type of gigs as well as how much you should charge and obviously if you're a dj you know the money maker is definitely weddings and corporate events those are your two top top joints right there and actually corporate events are going to pay you sometimes even more than weddings as far as receiving these type of benefits for these events you just have to put yourself out there man and like i tell you guys often man network 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 you know closed mouths don't get fed period some of these events that i happened to stumble upon was just me simply asking like hey knowing somebody who works at chrysler or knowing somebody who works for mac you know posting myself on social media using certain hashtags so people will follow me and things of that nature that's how you get those corporate events when it comes to corporate you you obviously have to be on your game 100 percent always be professional i'm dj Lixer, the the business though like how i dj at a sweet 16 or how i dj at a uh, a bar mitzvah how i would dj at the club is not how i would do it at a corporate event most corporate events um depending on you know who they are obviously every event varies and it differs but most corporate us uh, most corporate people they want clean music you know what i'm saying they, they don't want they don't want to be out here you know too ratchet or anything like that from the events that i've done some some corporate events you're going to get ratchet they, they like that shit. but most most events you know you're going to make sure you're going to make sure you have clean music you're going to want to make sure you dress apart uh definitely don't come in no t-shirts and no jeans or nothing like that you know even if you or even if you do make sure you're wearing all black that's my cheat code for any type of wedding, corporate event, anything that's upper scale. If you throw on all black, they really can't be mad at you. So just make sure you're dressing the part. Make sure you know your you got the, your your library has to be on point. 
because when it comes to corporate, you have people of all ages, all entities, different ethnic backgrounds, etc., etc. You know, I might dip into a little house music, then I might go into alternative rock, and then I might go into Afro beats. You know what I'm saying? So you never know what you might have. So when you do get into this level of the game, just make sure that you're set and you're you're ready for it because the thing is they'll call you back and you want them to call you back man you don't want to do an event and then you vomit and you're like man i missed out you're gonna miss out on that money obviously corporate events that's the you charge for corporate events what i like to call your true potential don't be afraid to throw a number out there or or just just asking them you know what's your budget that's my favorite question to ask in 2019. And usually when it comes to corporate, they have the money, man. So do not ever, ever be afraid to charge when it comes to these type of events, dog, because they have it. Trust me. Like I said, man, this isn't a, a, a tippy tip tip video, but just some pointers on how to handle um, taking care of corporate events, what you need, etc., etc. Closed mouths don't get fed, man. So just make sure that you're always asking the right questions. And um, thank you for checking out this video, man. Make sure you're liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe at the bottom. Hit that red button. And also, don't forget to hit that bu -bu 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 one time for the one time. Every time your girl DJ Licks uploads a video, you see it. And you run into it, man. You already know what tip we on, man. I'm really excited for the summer. Super, 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 super great content coming soon. Stay tuned. I love y'all, man. Peace.